what are inverse functions and how do we know if two functions are inverses of each other? Okay. So given two one-to-one -one functions, and I want to highlight this thing right here, okay? So given two one-to-one -one functions, meaning this would only work if your functions are one-to-one. -one. And you know what one-to-one -one functions are. So given two one-to-one -one functions, f of x and g of x, if f of g of x equals x, and g of f of x equals x, then we say that f of x and g of x are inverses of each other. More specifically, we will say that g of x is the inverse of f of x and denote it by this notation. Or we could also say that f of x is the inverse of g of x and we can donate, denote it by this notation. Okay, now it's very important that we um, understand what and means and means that this should be true and at the same time this should also be true because if only one of them is true then that is not um, that uh, they are not inverses of each other so it is important that both of these requirements are met okay let's look at this example right here so we have f of x equals 3x minus 2 g of x equals x over 3 plus 2 thirds. Now let's determine if these two functions are inverses of each other. So how do we do that? Well, very simple steps. You just need to evaluate f of g of x and make sure that this is equal to x, okay? And we also need to evaluate g of f of x and make sure that is also equal to x. If these conditions are met, then we have a one, um, we have two functions that are inverses of each other. Okay, let's evaluate first f of g of x. Okay, let's evaluate f of g of x. So we have f of, we use another color, f of g of x. Okay, so what is f of g of x? Well, f of g of x is so we have f of now what is our g of x our g of x is x over 3 plus 2 thirds that's x over 3 plus 2 third and then we're going to evaluate f with x over 3 plus 2 over 3 as our argument so you have what you have 3 times now instead of writing x remember our x is this one x over 3 plus 2 thirds so we'll have x over 3 let me use x over 3 plus 2 third that's our x again this represents x okay um, minus minus 2 okay minus 2 let's solve we can distribute 3 to both terms so you get 3 times x over 3 plus 3 times 2 over 3 minus 2. And then we'll get what? We can cancel um, 3. You can cancel 3. So we'll have x plus 2 minus 2. You can cancel plus 2 minus 2. That's a 0. So finally we have x. And there you have it. So we have f of g of x equals x. But then we still have to evaluate g of f of x. Let's do that. Let's evaluate g of f of x. So you have g of f of x equals equals g, g of, well, what is our f of x? Our f of x is 3x minus 2. All right, so that's 3x minus 2. Then what is our g? Our g is x over 3 plus 2 thirds. So instead of writing x, instead of writing x, we'll write 3x minus 2. That's our x. Okay. So that will be 3x minus 2 divided by 3 plus 2 third. This one right here. Let's simplify. We'll get what? So we can distribute our denominator. So we'll have 3x over 3 
minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. We can cancel out 3. Then negative 2 third plus 2 third, that cancels out. And we're left with x. And there you have it. So as you can see, your f of g of x equals x, your g of f of x equals x, and therefore we say that they are inverses of each other. Otherwise, if you don't get x as your final answer for both um, uh, composite functions, if you don't get x for both composite functions, then that means that the functions that you're comparing are not inverses of each other.